Welcome to Flat Out Elected. My name is Rand Campbell, and I, 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 this world, <laughs> whew, this world is, I mean, if you're not paying attention and if you're not reading between the lines and seeing what's hidden in the darkness and, and, and under the understanding that the devil is most certainly in the details then I don't know what it is that you're looking at. I'm going to put this out to Christians that do not take God at his word. Because the truth of the matter is, is that you are in alignment with atheism, period. Now, this is going to take a little bit to decipher. I'm going to show you a video response from a YouTuber by the name of Godless Engineer. And he's doing a video <laughs> response to Stephen Anderson, Stephen L. Anderson, which if you break it down, it's Slanderson. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy is so obsessed with Flat Earth, but I'm going to let you watch the video that Godless Engineer does in response to Stephen Anderson, and then we're going to go ahead and break it down. Here, let me bring this up. Let me see if I can actually get this here okay take a look at this and then we'll we'll talk about it all right so i don't know if you guys know but this is steven anderson and uh he has something intriguing in common with answers in genesis and um i think that you're gonna see what i'm talking about but the architects behind this the people who are really pushing this and the ones who have engineered this flat earth phenomenon are satanic they're of the devil they might even work for the government now watch this madness. Now isn't it interesting that the atheists and the flat earthers have all the exact same points about the Bible? <laughs> atheists and flat earthers have the same points about the Bible. I don't think that Stephen Anderson has really gotten like what the flat earth movement is. <laughs> you see, I've been hearing this garbage that the earth is flat according to the Bible my entire Life. Your entire life. This garbage. <laughs> well, the Bible says the earth is on pillars. The Bible says the earth. Well, it high. does. The Bible says that the you know that the earth has a giant dome. Called yes. The it does. The Bible says this. The Bible yeah. says that because the Bible literally says that. I mean, I mean, it's like in the Bible, it literally says there's a firmament that it's on pillars and all this other. Sh like it literally says that. But I mean, it's easily explainable because at the time that was written, people thought that the Earth was flat and it was held up by pillars. And well, no, 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 it's 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 a book written by God in so spirit, and you'll never understand it if you are not well, listening well, to it in spirit. Well, five years. The Bible disbunks science. Started with Samuel Robotham in the 1800s, the late 1800s. So, no, I mean, it wasn't recent. I mean, it's been going on since the 19th century, just for reference. And all of a sudden now, all these Christians, the Bible says this. You know what? It's the same devil that's behind it now as was behind it back then. It's an attempt to discredit the Bible. No. See, this is where he agrees with uh, Answers in Genesis, because the Answers in Genesis guy says that atheists started the Flat Earth Movement. I guess get the biblical arguments first. Right. Um, uh, I want to point out that uh, these arguments that people put forth today for the Flat Earth, supposedly from the Bible, don't come... Uh, historically positions of the church. The church never argued these points from scripture. This all arose in the 19th century and surprisingly enough these arguments that flat earthers are using supposedly from the Bible to support flat earth 
are ones that are put forth from the skeptics and the atheists in the 19th century trying to, dis, dis, uh, no. to uh, bring disrepute upon the scripture showing it's not authoritative. So I'm, I'm puzzled and it breaks my heart at the same time to see people parroting arguments that are 140, 150 right. years old. Not true. The Flat Earth Movement was, was started by a Christian who disagreed with the mainstream science about the, the you know, shape of the earth and was looking to the Bible to prove it. And he came up with it. So no, I mean, it was started by Christians. Christians thought it and whatnot. At least the modern flat earth movement, at least. It's to keep intelligent people from believing the Bible because any intelligent person knows that the earth is not flat. So the goal is to fill the church with idiots and that intelligent people wow. will stay away. Intelligent people wow. will not apply. That's the agenda. That was the agenda when the atheists are doing it. Wow. That's the agenda now with the so-called Christians doing it and look i'm not saying that every it's not the agenda of the atheist to discredit the rely like the bible based solely on the fact that it has a few things about the flat earth in it i mean i would say that they had that kind of concept back then and so it's perfectly understandable why they would write about it but i don't think that that particular thing right there disproves the bible on its face i think that it, it shows how inaccurate they were and i think that it speaks to the reliability especially the scientific and historical reliability of the bible so that's what i would say i don't think that it proves that god doesn't exist or it's an attack on their god or anything like that everybody who believes in this isn't <laughs> safe i know that there are some good people who get duped into this stuff God bless them, they just need to get some smarts. Architects behind this, the people who are really pushing this, and the ones who have engineered this flat earth phenomenon are satanic, they're of the devil, they might even work for the government. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's break this down. Here's the bottom line. We do not serve a God of confusion. Absolutely, 100% for sure. There are over 200 scriptures that describe the earth as being still and flat, period. The atheist knows it's in scripture. He can at the very least see it. And if he were to be able to believe scripture and take it literally like we are meant to, he'd be a flat earther. Slanderson, <laughs> Stephen L. Anderson, Slanderson, he can't take the Bible literally. He actually suggests that we observe this earth as a spinning wet ball rocket when that's a blatant lie. We do not observe it that way. You need science or pseudoscience to give their deception, their lie in explanation in order for you to believe it. You see, Slanderson doesn't tell you that he learnt this spinning wet ball rocket of which he holds dearly onto, not through scripture. Actually, he learned it in the school system, which indoctrinates us with deception. He won't admit that's where he came to his belief about this spinning wet ball rocket. He's trying to suggest that we observe it that way, but nowhere does he ever bring up scripture that aligns to this spinning wet ball rocket at all, period. And so the truth of the matter is, is that the atheist believes we're on a spinning wet ball rocket, and uh-oh, so do those like Slanderson here who do not take God at his word. If you do not take God at his word, you are going to believe science. You're going to believe that we live on a spinning wet ball rocket. If you take God at his word, as the atheist says, that if you take scripture literally, yes, we are on a flat surface with pillars and a firmament over top of us called the dome. That's what we call the dome. If you take the Bible literally, you're going to come to that conclusion. So actually what the atheist is doing, he is denying scripture. So he's most certainly going to deny flat earth because he's into science. But what he is also pointing out is that Slanderson, who's supposed to be a man of God standing in a pulpit, does not take God at his word. Instead, he takes man at their word and suggests that we're on the spinning web ball rocket of which he heard by man. He never, ever, ever got that out of scripture. So th this is what they have in common. 
neither one of them take God at his word. That, that's, that's the commonality between the atheists and people like Slanderson. They do not take God at his word. Instead, they rely on the teachings of man. And for that reason, they are evenly yoked. If you do not take God at his word, you are evenly yoked to those that take man at his word in a world greatly deceived. <laughs> and Slanderson does that. He literally suggests that, that you can't be smart and believe in flat earth. He absolutely said that Christians that believe that we are on a flat earth according to scripture, you're, you're, you need to get some smarts. <laughs> Apparently we're stupid. Isn't that something? That he is in agreement with atheists that we're on a spinning web ball rocket. Although the atheist admits, oh, no, 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 no. If you're a Christian, and he's correct when he says this, if you're a true Christian and you believe that the word of God is true from front cover to back cover, then you have to believe that the earth is flat because the Bible absolutely, 100%, describes the earth as being flat on pillars and with a firmament over it, like a tent, a dome. It's hilarious. I mean, the, the, the madness that goes on is, for me, it's, it's incredibly, uh, it's enlightening, I guess would be the right word, that, that you could watch these types of, of arguments between somebody that's supposed to take God at his word, somebody who absolutely rejects every word of God, and for some strange and weird reason, they align with each other. And the reason why, watch why, the reason why is because neither one of them take God at his word. One takes scripture and applies it to the ways of the world in which he has been taught through science and education, media and politics, entertainment, and any other facet of deception. He, he can take scripture as long as it aligns to the ways of the world. He's okay with it. And the other one just absolutely only adheres to the ways of the world and refuses scripture, rejects it adamantly. But the commonality is very simple. Neither one of them take God at his word. And this is where Slanderson finds himself in a, in, in, in a heap of trouble. Because the God I serve, he's not the God of confusion. Flat, pillars, dome, ends. You can look at scripture. As it states in Job, the earth takes shape like a seal in clay. I don't care how smart you think you need to be to understand scripture. That's pretty simple. And Slanderson is just certainly incapable of taking God at his word. He absolutely refuses to. He wants to rely on science and the ways of the world and make statements like, the way we observe the world agrees with science, but he never once says it agrees with scripture. Let that sink in. I sincerely hope that these videos edify you and bring you closer to God. This channel does need to bump up its quality, so if anybody out there is willing to help, uh, you can email me at mrcampbell at rogers.com. If you don't want to help, that's fine. If you don't think the channel needs to be upgraded and, and these videos need to be made with more quality, that's fine. I don't think I'll lose you if I add quality, but I do think that we'll be able to get some people that maybe dismiss this channel for the lack of quality, and I, I really, really, really believe that God wants more people to hear these messages. I ask that you guys sincerely stay blessed in Christ, put on the armor of God, sub to the channel, share the videos, go to Flat Out Elected 2, sub there, go to Flat Out Elected the community on Google, join there, become a Patreon if it's in your heart. I ask that God continuously bless you and that he blesses you abundantly. You guys take care of yourselves. Is when you talking to the, to the principalities and reminding the powers and telling them who you are and what's going to happen. That's when you get an attitude. We have access to God with boldness and confidence. We can go boldly to the throne of God. We can go confidently to him. But what does the devil do? He keeps bringing up your past. He keeps bringing up your failures. He keeps bringing up your shortcomings. I'm not going to God on the basis of my righteousness. Not my righteousness. I'm going on the basis of his righteousness and who he is.